I don't know where the venom came from. The venom for John Kreese in Karate Kid 1 was harsh. And I, I must have called upon all the forms of rejection I've had over the years and just called them up, you know? And um, it was, it was th it's thrilling to still see that. Yeah. From 1984. The, the emotionality of it, it, it it's, it's fascinating to me. What do you the, see? The, yeah. You know, the art is fascinating. Yeah. You know? Well, what can you, like, when you compare Karate Kid, your character, now to Cobra Kai and getting to do all these different things and talking to the writers and say, I don't want him to be one-dimensional and all this, how has that sort of arc or journey been? Was it Has it been a fun experience? Have you liked working on the show? Do you like seeing what, what's happening with your character and him going to jail, all this stuff? To me, um, I get a chance to do a lot of emotional work from personal experiences that I can call upon. Relationships. You know, John Kreese, a lot of, you know, doing the character for so long, a lot of it, you know, sort of veered off into my personal life. And I became impatient with my relationship with my, my ex-girlfriend. I became angry at drop of a hat. A lot of that character came right up into my personal life. And I had to like, I had to back up, you know, I had to really reevaluate some things and um, talk about it in therapy and all, because it just came up. The, the venom came up, the anger came up, the impatience came up, the hostility came up. And once I got used to it, after I think season three, season four and five and six was, was terrific because it was emotional. They wrote me some very emotional Wait, stuff. wait, what's that music? I'm hearing music play. Yeah, that's that's basically the uh, for a few. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly. That tells me I have a text. Oh, okay. So that, well, I don't want I don't want it to be over what you're saying because it's so intriguing that I was like, wait, what is that? <laughs> I've got for a few dollars more that plays as my ring, and then I've got good, the bad, and the ugly, which plays as my text. You know, the good and the bad and the ugly is the the, the poster in my uh, in my living room. Right, right when you walk in the house, you see the good, the bad, and the ugly. But go go ahead about what you're saying. You went to therapy. And you kind of got all this out of your system. But over the over the last couple of years, it's allowed me to, I think, improve as an actor. All this pain. You know, you think about Brando and you think about a lot of these people who suffered went in their work to get to a place. You don't really understand it until you do it yourself, until it happens to you, where I could go back and, you know, have uh, emotional personal personalizations in a relationship and bring it right into the work, you know, and uh, that happened a lot. It happened a lot to John Kreese um, and being in jail, working with this, with the prison psychologist, I would often call upon my personal experiences and some of the personal experiences were not happy ones. And they, most of them weren't. And, um, so I grew as an actor by doing this show because I would never, never pick up a script and say, and, and breeze through it. Like I did in the early days, trying to be Steve McQueen and kind of figure out how cool I could be. I wouldn't do that anymore, you know? Yeah. And I, so I think Cobra Kai really helped me develop my, my, my um, uh, emotional stature for myself as an actor.